We're back, we're live, lab report from the Mutant Booth at the 2014 Body Power UK Expo. I'm Big Ron Parlow, I don't need to say it. My guest, I'm very to ha happy to have my friend Furious Pete on the show. What's How's up, going, buddy? Furious Pete. Nice to see you again. Yeah, I know, uh, we always have a laugh when we're together, so yeah. we're, t we're shooting names around. Who can we get on the show? We can get on the show, and I was like, we might be able to get Furious Pete to take a minute out of his hectic schedule of uh, of eating things and eating lifting things, things and, lifting and things, that's doing right. crazy shit and yeah. come by the booth. Yeah. Yeah. How's body power for you? It's busy. You know, I, uh, I heard like years ago that this was just a really small expo and then now it's just getting bigger and bigger. So uh, yeah, it's, it's insane here. Like it's, it's busy. I know. I, I was told, I think it was like over a year ago that it was, oh, it's about the size of LA Fit. Yeah. No, no way. I don't know who, who told me that, but that's... It's like four times bigger. Yeah, least, yeah, and now it's actually the size of Feebo, really. Well, maybe not Feebo. Right, right. Maybe, yeah, no. The well, minus the yoga, yeah, the yeah, yoga and hall. The Zumba and, the Zumba and all that stuff. And the, yeah, yeah. the, the 500 the bike stuff that spin doesn't class. Count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that we didn't go look at yeah. or care about. Yeah, exactly. Or the hall full of uh, hot tubs and saunas. Yeah, no, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what's, uh, what are you doing here at the Expo? What are your responsibilities? Uh, who brought you in? Uh, Gymshark brought me in this time around, uh, and I'm just hanging out, meeting fans, selling some merch, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's you got your own merch. Like, yeah, that's uh, right. Tell people how to get it. You know, how do they hook, that, hook up with Furious Pete clothing? Uh, either go through my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash Furious Pete, or shop.furiouspete.com, and that's it. Yeah, you're always putting new stuff out. Obviously, your Instagram, you got new shirts. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm too furious for my sleeves that's now. Right. All that's that right. All that stuff. That's okay, right. It's good. That's it's right. good. Now, a lot of our viewers, you know, I had some friends there. Uh, uh, some people knew totally who you were. And now, you got millions of your people who know who you are. But yeah. tell the mutant fans who don't know who is Furious Pete. All right. Well, Furious Pete is... Uh, what did we call it? An uh, ingestion I, engineer? An in, food, inge uh, food ingestion specialist. Yeah, something like that. Well, anyways, it was a technical uh, term. In you're a, you're, a com you're a, an insane competitive eater. That's right. I, uh, I started off uh, competitive eating like in 08. Um, I did my first eating contest. I've done over 100. Uh, I've won about 90% of them. Uh, I currently have nine Guinness World Records. And uh, yeah, planning on just doing more and more crazy things. Um, but along with that, I guess I also have fitness uh, alongside in my life. You and, can also uh, deadlift over 500 and you can hang. I'm, go hang I'm going for 700 by the end of the year. That's my oh, goal. Have you pulled six? I've done uh, six 40 something. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Fueled so. by pizza. Yes. And uh, raw fish. Uh, I don't yes, know. and you raw everything, raw butter everything. And, and cinnamon and, and whatever, <laughs> random <laughs> things. <laughs> yes. Now, I, I do have to go back to the start because, uh, you know, uh, as much as we like to have a laugh, we also like to, you know, maybe touch somebody or show somebody what can be done. But yep. your, 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 your start comes from a, a bit of a darker place. That's right. Um, yeah, December 2002, uh, hospitalized for anorexia. Uh, my life was complete shit. Uh, everything was going wrong in my life. Uh, both my parents were hospitalized for two different reasons. Uh, I was told I might have cancer. And I started, I needed something to control my life. And I started controlling food. And I just... It instead, just of, instead of it controlling you? Yeah, you know, I just, I needed something to control. So I controlled food. So rather than resorting to maybe drugs or something like that, I started controlling food and I took it way too far. <laughs> um, and I, I, I dropped down to 120 pounds. Uh, right. Six foot two, 120 pounds. My heart nearly stopped. It was down to about 10 beats a minute. And uh, it was on life support in the hospital. And then it took about three and a half years to fully overcome that. Uh, all these voices inside my head telling me that I was useless, you know, fat and all that. And just had to get rid of that. And I finally did. And uh, lived my life normally for about a year. Uh, before actually going out to a pub with my buddies uh, after a, a night of drinking with the boys. And uh, one of my best friends challenged me to try and break some record, or challenged anyone at the table to break some record, and I doubled it, and I uh, just realized I had a what, knack for this. What was the record? Uh, it was like this massive, massive breakfast dish, and it had two of every kind of breakfast item you could ever think of. And the record was eating two of those plates in an hour, but it was a massive plate. Um, and I ate four of those casually, so... I, yeah, and then just started doing random challenges after that. Posted them on YouTube, and that's how I started YouTube. 
Yeah, and now how many followers do you have on YouTube? How many views does your channel have? Um, currently, my main channel has 920,000 subscribers. Um, and so the one million is going to be a big party for Furious P. Yeah, it is. I got some crazy, crazy things planned, and I hope I survive that video. Uh, <laughs> I got about 150 million views uh, right now. Um, and then I have a second channel with about 200,000 subscribers, which is just my daily vlog channels, things like that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you've also done a lot of you know, uh, working with other people on, on you know, combining ideas and yep. trying to get each other's hits up and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, collaborations are really fun on YouTube. You know, it's, it's great to get two personalities together. Like, uh, I'm really good friends with Rob and Dana Bailey. And, yeah, uh, they're, we, uh, we and do they're, videos they're great friends of us now. Yeah, yeah, on the show exactly. And, and uh, we, we do videos always. So it, Rob, it just, Rob didn't tell you, don't go on, don't go on. Yeah, no, he didn't say. <laughs> he actually said he had a great time on the show, so he's like, go on, go on. Yeah, so I, uh, here I am. Okay. Yeah. Now, what, what, what would be the most gluttonous thing that you're proud of? Gluttonous thing that I'm proud what, of? What's the, what, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you, you actually just still can't believe you, you did? One of the biggest things that really got me recognized was eating a 72-ounce steak really fast. And I think it was the manliest thing, too. Uh, I, just, I did it in just over six minutes, uh, eating a 72-ounce steak. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. so that it takes me half an hour to eat a 10-ounce uh, beef and rice meal. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I, I was proud of that one because it was like, you know, it, it relates kind of to fitness as, you know, as people that are bulking and try to put on size. We're steak eaters. Well, bodybuilders are extreme. You know, what, you know what it's all about. I'm from ranch country. I there know we're, we're extreme people by nature. Exactly. Bodybuilders have something inside them that's extreme and we have to push we, ourselves. I think we always search for some, some way to use it in a positive manner. You know right, what I mean? Exactly. And uh, I mean, I consider you a bodybuilder, you know, just like anyone. I mean, any, you know, I mean, I wouldn't consider myself a bodybuilder because nah. I don't, I don't, I don't go to the point where it's like, I need to be shredded and all that. No, stuff. it does. That's, uh, it doesn't mean it. I, I'm about, you know, yeah, getting bigger, but you know what? My, my actual, um, thing that I really like about fitness is just being strong, trying to get stronger, picking things up and putting them back down. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm all about. You have about. to say that with an accent though. Yeah. Pick them up and put them down. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Arnold Styles. So uh, the 72 ounce steak in six minutes is the thing you're the most pr pr it was, uh, amazed it, by. It was, it was the thing that really got me recognized. Okay. So that's why I really like it. Is yeah. that when your channel exploded? No, you know what? It's what really got me into competitive eating, the competitive eating world. Okay. So um, before that, yeah, I just, not a lot of people knew me, then I did that record, then people told me to do this and this and this after that, yeah. Now, I asked you backstage what your biggest fail was. Biggest fail, oh yes. And you had an interesting story for yeah, that. Yeah, it was actually last year, um, I, uh, I went on the, one of the biggest networks here in UK, ITV, and uh, I was on a, just a uh, talk show, and I was trying to break my own Guinness World Record for fastest time to eat a 12 inch pizza. And the, did, the did, dough you say, did you say 12 inch pizza? Did yeah. you say it was raw? Yeah, the dough was raw. The so, dough was raw, okay. So after about one slice, I started choking on a piece. It just got lodged in my throat. And uh, it was a big fail. And it was just, you know, biggest, biggest channel here in the UK. And I choked on my own record. <laughs> on, on live TV? Yeah. Live. Now, I, I had a laugh back at Feeble because uh, I went down to the hotel gym at like one in the morning to try to get a pump on something. My workouts were just a disaster in Germany. Yeah. And uh, so I was trying to get some blood in my lats and I'm doing some cable rows and I look up on the TV and there's you eating what appeared to be uh, biting into an ear. They were, they were trying to test what the bite power would be for Evander Holyfield, for Mike to bite into Evander Holyfield's ear. Yeah. So they had you biting into pretending an, to be Mike Tyson pretending to be Mike Tyson and they were measuring your bite power yeah. and what kind of ear was that it was a pig's ear it was a pig's ear yeah so th I, and then I I put it up on Instagram yeah. and you had quite a laugh you said that was in 08 yeah it was in 08 it was the first TV show I had ever been on it was called sports science okay um, so it was a pretty big a pretty big show back then but uh, yeah it was just yeah it was I, one of those science shows they were yeah. trying to like analyze yeah. what it would take yeah. yeah exactly so a pig's ear is apparently the most uh, resembles a human ear, right, um, right? So that's why they were doing all these tests on it. But it was actually really easy to bite the ear off. Now really you've easy. you've been on television shows in how many different countries? Uh, a lot of countries. I've uh, I've actually been hosting a, a German TV show for the past five years. It's a culinary travel show. We go around the world, and it's basically a dream come true because you get to travel around the world for free um, and just eat and like try different things around the world, like different activities. Like it's been awesome. Yeah. Um, what would be something that you've eaten where you actually 
like, do you have a hard time ever getting your mind around what you're about to eat, or are yeah, you just you know, not picky about anything? Um, I, growing up, I was a very picky eater. Not so much anymore. Like, I push myself. I know it's my <laughs> job. Um, like, you know, I've. I've eaten like random stomachs, cow stomachs, camel humps, esophagus, uh, frog stomachs, uh, different kinds of bugs. And have you eaten? Like it, that. Have you eaten any penis? Yes. What was it? Pig? Uh, bull? Bulls? Uh, uh, chicken testicles? Uh, donkey balls? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm. Please don't ask me whether they were good or not. No, well, I'm just assuming they weren't. They were. Yeah, they were. <laughs> and you're ashamed no, to the, say. No, the balls were disgusting. The penises were. They call those prairie oysters, they don't were, they? Yeah, those weren't good. They were just chewy. Yeah. Really chewy, like chewy gristle. It was. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't recommend it. No, 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 no. I don't recommend it. Don't go for that if you see it on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what's next for Furious Pete? What's next? What is what's it next? What's your next big challenge? What's your next travel show? Uh, what are you I'm, looking forward to? I'm going. Uh, I'm doing a lot of Guinness World Records lately. Like uh, I'm going to Italy in about a month uh, to try and break another record. Well, uh, which one? Actually, that pizza one that I choked on. <laughs> so hopefully this time around I can break it. Yeah, my record's 43 seconds uh, with a knife and fork. You got to eat a 12-inch pizza. So do you already hold the current record? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So people just want me to break it. I don't know. It's gonna be a tough record to break. Uh, but yeah, I'm working with a lot of fitness companies. I'm sponsored by Bodybuilding.com. So you've been with Bodybuilding.com for a long time. Yeah, about five, six years now. So and you can get mutant products on Bodybuilding.com now. So check it out. Okay, I had to throw that in. Yeah, nice little plug there. Yeah, well, I, I like can't, it. I, I like can't it. just let that one roll by. Yeah, you know, no, I got to give it a give it a hit. Beauty, beauty. And then also, you're with Mansport. I am with Mansports, and uh, we're about to uh, release uh, uh, Furious flavored uh, yeah pre workout, and uh, so that should be out in about two weeks. Uh, what are the flavor is going to be? Uh, it's called Tropical Fury. And it's, uh, so it's a little tropical flavor of pineapple mango. It should be really tasty. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure it will be. I'd love to try a sample. Yeah, it's I'll trade good. you one of those for a mayhem and we can just Sounds enjoy good, each man. other's, it's uh, a deal. It's enjoy a deal. Each other's it's a, uh, yeah. product. Now, um, you know, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, no problem. We're, thanks we're, for I'm really rooting for you. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and all the Guinness World Records and everything. You're an interesting guy, you know, so thanks for coming on the lab report. Appreciate that. And we want to have you on again at our next big international expo. I'd love to. You know, we got the Olympia, the Arnold, FIBO. Yeah. You know, there's we no got to do a training video one day. Yeah, too. that would be fun too, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, maybe I can even try to speed up my eating because yeah, that might help, help me put on maybe some size. Stop being well, a pussy with that eating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but before we go, what, what do you do to prepare for a huge eating challenge? Do you, is there a fasting or is there a stuffing yourself to stretch your stomach or do you so, have any preparation? So it all depends on the size of meal that I'm having. So if it's a record that's like three to four minutes long, let's say, I don't prepare at all. I just mentally prepare and I tell myself, Pete, you got to get to work. You got to eat that fast. Is, is there any physical trick? Like you drink a certain way to lube your esophagus? I or? definitely increase my, I drink a lot of water when I'm doing these challenges because you want to get that water, you want to get that food down as fast as possible, right? So you're just putting as much water down your throat as possible, okay. right? Um, when if it's a bigger eating challenge, I'm drinking a lot of fluid going into this contest or whatever it may be. So two, three days before, I'm drinking a lot more water. By a lot more water, I mean 20 to 25 liters of water in a day. Sometimes, yeah, it's a lot of water. Do you have to balance your electrolytes at all? Is there any tricks you... You know what? I do it for like two days, three days. Uh, I've never had a problem, uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it No at death home. by water ingestion yes, or anything don't like do that? It. It's not like I'm doing it all at once. It's throughout Remember, the day. he's a genetically gifted superhuman. Yes. Don't try this at home. I've been on Discovery channel show called superhumans so <laughs> have you been on yeah. superhumans yeah. really yeah you've been you've just done everything man it's I've wild done, i've done some cool shows yeah for sure it's someone asked me what does furious pete do and i and of course i don't know if you've actually done this but i just thought of what's the most insane thing i thought well he's the type of guy that would zip line through the jungle while eating live bugs i've, I've zip lined through the jungle in costa rica but when eating a pineapple well, I was close. Yeah, I was pretty close. Pretty I'm close. surprised you came up with that. Well, I, was, I figured you've done pretty much anything, so I could, I could make pretty much anything up. I, I want to do more crazy things. So if you ever have ideas out there, go to my channel, write them in any comments. I read those right on my Facebook. I read those comments. I always want the craziest ideas because, believe it or not, I'll do them. He'll do them, and he'll set a record doing it. Yeah, I'll try. S smoke it, Pete. Pleasure. Furious Pete, awesome guy, one of the most interesting people in the fitness industry. 
Glad to have him on the show. Thank you. Mutant Lab Report, 2014 Body Power from the Mutant booth. Yeah. Big Ron Parlow. I'll see you again. See you.